Well, hello, my dickies. Mr. Acid Apple, with the bomb of, you know, the actual screen cut off yet again, because emulators suck, I guess. Um, we are here at, uh, Lieutenant Surge's gym, Vermilion City's gym. I caught an eye just for the cut, and I named it Smoker's Cough, because everyone calls it marijuana, haha. So, I made a counter-reference to cigarettes, so I thought that'd be kind of legit. Um, beginning of the I will talk about my upload schedule. I got two weeks of college left, so it's going to be really cramped with exams and whatnot, and a lot of projects. So, but I'm going to make a semi-permanent um, upload schedule. I will let you guys know if I'm not going to upload for like the week or whatnot, if I go on like vacation or I just got family things to do, things like that. But my upload schedule is on my channel right here. Mondays and Thursdays will have um, my main project, which is one that will always have an outline or just more detail into it whatsoever, such as the Pokemons, the Paper Marios, things like that. Those will be Monday and Thursdays, okay? For my side projects, which I'll just put out there, you know, um, I should have a new one fairly soon. I will do Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Um, I should be uploading those then. And then on the co-op channel, uh, Nintendo Superstars, which I'll have a link in the description below, I will be doing. I will be uploading them three times a week, Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. So the only days I'm really not uploading is Saturday, which is probably when I'll get like the mass stock of my video, so I can start editing, uh, editing them. I'm sorry, and doing things like that. So main channel, uh, Monday, Thursday for main videos, and then Monday, Wednesday, Friday for side videos and Nintendo Superstars. We got um, Tuesday. Friday, Sunday. So, there you go. Uh, but on to the battle. We, uh, I accidentally ran into a guy while trying to find the second switch. And this guy is rather irritating me with the second Pikachu because he's growling. I'm missing attacks. I give it parahax. Nothing's just going right. And that's the second parahax in a row. And uh, it's just biting my balls here, man. And then, it's just, look at that. Like, that's the third or fourth parahax beforehand. I couldn't even like him. I missed like two mega punches in a row. It's like this game is not going my way. Like I'd rather be like punched in the wiener right now than to have all this stuff done. And then he gets a crit, which I think is like a second or third crit. It's like wow. Like are you the gym leader now? Like do I need to start whooping your ass? Like what is going on? This guy is like wow. I couldn't believe it. But I got semi healed up. I got. The paralyzation gone. I can walk again. No, oh, I missed another hell? attack. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was raging at that moment because that is ridiculous. Like, wow, and double slap is doing nothing. Like, he diddly nothing because of the growl. So I'm gonna try to go for a mega punch. Unfortunately, he uh, T waves me. Doesn't come into play. N not yet, at least. I don't think it actually does, except lower my speed. But I don't even think I was faster anyhow, because it's a Pikachu, so. But I double slap, I'm hoping we'll kill it. I think it look yeah, oh, nope, okay, as I say, it lived down a smidgen, but I got a three turn hit on that attack with the word double in it, so that, uh, fuck logic, I guess. Uh, so, uh, I missed the switch there. I am horrible with the switches, I truly am. Uh, this game loves to taunt me with the switches. And I think the one to the right has it, and it does, and uh, I go with my uh, uh, instinct again, going to the left for the third time, and it, it worked, so we got the uh, gate unlocked, and I'm going to heal because I don't feel like wasting potions and or money on uh, Clefairy when there's a reasonable Pokemon Center, like, come on. Money doesn't technically grow on trees, though, it's made of part paper, and paper comes from trees, so... Technically, money does grow on trees, but just, you know, I can't, like, pick it off. Or else, um, I wouldn't be using a Windows computer. I would have a Macintosh and not struggling to pay college. So, yeah. So, technically and not technically, it does, but whatever, you know. I'm not, you know, saying anything. What? Actually, I was saying a lot. Makes me out of breath. I think I'm having a heart what it is. Too much, uh... Calorie right. usage there, if I may say so myself. 
But Lieutenant Surge is um, zapping us into paralyzation. I was like, whoa, why would you want to paralyze someone? That is like the cruelest thing I've ever heard of in my life. You, sir, are not part of the Marines. I want to see some badges. So he sends out a Voltorb. That's not a badge. Silly boy. But, um, um, I don't even know where I was going to go for. I guess Mega Punch just goes. I only have 25. Stab Mega Punch will always miss. Clefairy, why am I using you? You've missed like eight of the eleven tanks I've used with. Really? You missed two in a row. Oh boy, where am I? I got nine nine problems and Clefairy missing is indeed one of them. Wow, that's horrible. I think I went for like a double slap and then or no, I went for a water gun and then I tried to sing and then he missed. And then screeching and it's just a whole clusterfuck of tomfoolery just because Clefairy isn't doing ball sack in this game whatsoever. Might have to trade you in for a pigeon and trade you for uh, another far fetched. Wouldn't that be grand? But um, I think I used a potion and then I'm going to start going for mega punches here because Voltorb isn't powerful whatsoever so mega punches will do a very hefty amount to about uh, 50 percent i i'm comfortable with saying that and then double slap and i get the three hit ko because double slap obviously doesn't mean two hits just means you slap them twice i am actually just now learning that so hooray for um slow learning good job yoshi since I have Pikachu, but it's level 18, and I'm wondering, one, why isn't that your first Pokemon? And two, wh why is it level 18? You're like the third gym leader. Like, Misty had, like, better Pokemon than you do. Like, what is up? Like, come at me, bro. Come on. Level grind some. Like, really? But he sends out Raichu, which is so much easier in this version than it is in Yellow, because he gets, like, three Pokemon in Yellow. They're all, like, level 24, 24, and fucking Raichu is, like, level 28. Actually, I think he only has, like, the Raichu level 28, and by that time, you're, like, only level 19. You're like, well, what am I supposed to do against this? He has an oversized rat with max speed, which I'm pretty sure is illegal. I think they just renamed it, you know, to keep it, uh, you know, okay with kitties. But, because Nintendo is crafty like that, hiding secret drugs within your games. Shrooms with Mario, uh... I don't know what Zelda has. I don't play Zelda. Kirby eats everything. Uh, I guess that's not really a drug. I guess that's like obesity. So. Uh, actually, Zelda seems like the only clean game they make. Hmm. I guess they gotta start somewhere. Metroid is a woman, so. And then the first game in Vietnam, they're like 45 minutes, I believe. You know, you get to see her... Uh, swimsuit zero suit kind of thing so that's pretty sexy so we got the drug users pokemon mario we got the sexy stuff samus and we got the fat ass kirby bingo right there so i think sonic the hedgehog would be like the only beneficial game because it's like yo i'm fast as hell yeah i'm still fat so that's not even teaching kids to go out and exercise because sonic's fat but then again pikachu's fat it's weird because like if you compare the characters from like their first appearance to like nowadays, Pikachu and Sonic are like really skinny, but back in the day they were like really fat. So it's kind of like they're anorexic now. Like oh my god, I was fat back then. It was like what is this? Like it was just really weird. It was weird because Pikachu had two different. <laughs> I'm getting way way too distracted on this subject, obviously. Uh, we are going to deposit some items, aka like a max ether or elixir. I think it's a max ether, uh, HMO1, and things like that. I got two rare candies that I have not used those. That deserves a pat on the back because that's like my crack in this game. I love using them. Which, um, spoilers, I think I will probably use a glitching code to get all my Pokemon up to a certain level. Wink, wink for the Elite Four, so keep track of that um i actually may do a little surprise for that if anyone actually remembers that uh that will be clever you should actually leave in the comments below what number it will be though i'm pretty sure it's fairly obvious if you know one thing about me um
said that was a Pidgey. I don't care about Pidgeys because I have a far-fetched, yeah, named Duck. Yeah, that's a clever nickname, everyone. Take notes. But we're going to head back to uh, Cerulean City, you know, so we can experience that color change that we all know and love. Because, you know, we're all green. Green is happy. When you go into Cerulean City, everything just changes blue. We're all dull and dead. Such as, you know, maybe right about now. See? Now everything's just like blah. We don't care about anything in the world. But, um, this match that we're about to have after we cut down this tree and fight that last with that ass and them titties, um, you're about to experience something that you will never see again in your life, ever. Um, I know this girl has two ashes, two bell sprouts. Okay, so I'm going to send out ducks to handle this. But this ain't no ordinary battle, and you will see why very soon. Uh, so she comes up to me, she's like, I got Pokemon? You do too? Let's have a battle. She said in that sequence, exactly like that, so you can tell she's, you know, a blonde. So I'm going to go out into my duck after she sent out her Oddish. And I remembered I have Sword Stance. So let's watch this carefully. Look at that. Do, are you seeing what I'm saying? Look at that. That sword went through his head three times. He's still standing able to battle. He didn't even take any damage. That's not the most manliest thing you've ever seen in your life. You exile this video right now because I would, would love to see your duck get three swords in the head and still stand. So, the great thing about this generation is if you can like kill Pokemon with like Hyper Beam or like your poison or anything like that, you don't have to wait. A turn to attack or take damage from the poison if you can kill them from you know the turn after that thing happened you know so that's pretty great some physics in this game are really great such as you know if you kill someone with hyper beam you don't have to recharge whereas other things like wrap and bind you know it's just a, it's a trusty like that's not even a proper word but it it's it's horrible like this game is so great in so many ways and other games it's just like screwing you over like uh play mind games but um yeah uh i'm checking to see if i have <coughs> excuse me that was weird i was checking to see if i had antidote but i don't and now i do and i'm all healed up and uh we can continue on to our quest which i think i'm gonna switch out duck for ashtray because it seems like we haven't seen ashtray in a while so let's give him his you know seven minutes of fame and we got tm30 which is uh teleport so woo teleport one of the most useless attacks in game along with like whirlwind and roar and things like that but i saw there was a field up there so i really wanted to check out that field and read the sign i love reading you know now just power uh, kind of ish depends on uh, who you're talking to, not me. I don't read hardly ever. There's a couple books I read, but they're off the charts. Um, so we got this bug catcher, and I really didn't want to battle, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And he's a bee drill. I was like, okay, maybe I'm kind of glad to battle. <laughs> like, it's cool seeing the bee drill. Like, look at that. He looks so badass. Except his legs, they look like balloons, like deflated balloons, or ones that you try to make took a balloon animal, and they kind of fail, so they got all those knots, and it just looks really awkward. That's what this bee drill looks like, pretty much. Um, so I, uh, Fury Attack. Oh yeah, he used Focus Energy, which if you guys actually didn't know. In this generation, due to uh, a coding glitch, instead of doubling your critical rate, it actually halves it, which is hilarious, so I love it. But I believe that churn we both missed, so that was pretty much a wasted churn. Like, thanks, Game Freak, for making everything not have a 100% accuracy as it was supposed to. Every move can at least... Every move can miss, except Swift. I think Swift is the only attack that cannot miss, uh, even if you're flying or uh, you use Dig, so that's really great. But every move has like a 0.6% chance of due to coding and all that, so that's pretty hunky-dory. Um, I don't think I've actually had a move that was quote-unquote 100% actually messy yet, but um, don't quote me on that again, because more than likely I have, I just neglected the obvious. But, uh, send out Shine, just because she's levels 23, and I use she, because Clefairies look like a chick, so I'm very biased in my Pokemon. 
Uh, do I get to kill the Beedrill? I do, because that second hit was max damage, so that was very delicious, and I grew to level 24, which um, I'm pretty sure next level I will evolve into a Clefable, because Clefable is, you know, pretty legit. And I was going to learn Minimize, but there wasn't really any attack I wanted to get rid of. I was thinking Double Slap, but Double Slap, semi-useful, but not really, but, you know, if I want better accuracy, I guess it would be better. Though I'm not too sure on the accuracy of double slap, it might be 90. But, you know, it's has it's situational, I guess. But we're gonna come up here and it's just a Rattata, which is very disappointing. Now I was like, come on, there has to be something relatively good. I mean, it's a random field in but fuck nowhere, but fortunately uh, there's just another Rattata. And um, um I didn't really want to stick around and find another Rattata, so. Uh, we're going to continue on through this maze of plateaus and fields and trainers with bug type Pokemon that are horribly over leveled. Such as this guy right here, perfect example, he has a level 20 Caterpie. Like, I love my Caterpies, but I know when to evolve and, and when not to give them away. Cough, cough, ash. Um, but surprisingly, they take a hit well, though. It's bite so it's unstabbed and everything but still base power 60 which is relatively nice though I'm pretty sure a water gun would be like base level oh 75 ish I'm pretty sure base power is 55 and stab which is half of that which is like 27.5 so it's around 75 I don't think they actually do that you know point stuff or in between but who am I to judge how they do calculations? You know, I failed Algebra 1 twice. I could pass Geometry and Algebra 2 and things like that easily. In college, Algebra, which is exactly like high school Algebra, it's just, you already have the knowledge, so you're not as dumb. But when I took Algebra, it was like the youngest class in my school. I ever taught Algebra 2, but yeah. Excuses, excuses. We beat that guy. We're not gonna battle this guy. I don't really want to deal with anyone. But, um, I didn't think I had to battle this chicky, which, uh, fortunately I don't, and for whatever reason I was going to switch sign, and I was like, whoa, when is she turned to level 24? But, um, that is pretty much the end of this episode. I will go to this field and find two Voltorbs, which I don't really like Voltorbs, uh, because I already have two of my own, so I don't need two, like, another one in my group. Um, and that's about it, uh. FYI, next video I will be in Lavender Town, or on the outside of Rock Tunnel, just because I don't like recording this area, because I hate Flash, it's the most useless TM ever, um, or HM, sorry. So I just, I just breeze through this place, unrecorded and everything, if I catch a Pokemon, maybe like a Slowpoke, if they're even in this cave, I don't think they are, I will uh, record that and whatnot, so, uh, until next time, my Dicties, you got your fix, and, um, don't forget about the upload schedule, and uh, yeah, stay tuned.